Let me demonstrate for you what God was doing in him in order to do something great through him. This young man was taken away captive and one day God began to speak to him in visions and his dreams. Then God said to Ezekiel, son of man, would you please lie on your left side for 390 days? If you were Ezekiel, you would have had the same question he did. Why? Why do I have to lie on my left side for 390 days? And God said, because the northern kingdom has gone into captivity and will remain in captivity for 390 years. Ezekiel, I want you to lie on your left side one day symbolizing one year of captivity. After he had finished that experience, God comes and says to him, I have some good news for you. The good news is you can now get up. The bad news is, would you please flip over to your right side? So Ezekiel moves over to his right side, and then God says to him, now you're going to symbolize the captivity of the south. What do you think was Ezekiel's first question? How long is the south going to be in captivity for? And God said, thrilling news for you, 40 years, lie on your right side for 40 days, one day symbolizing one year of captivity. After that was over, God said to him, take a razor and shave your head completely bald. Take the hair in front of you, divide it into three lots. Chop up the first, scatter the second into the wind, and take the third part of it and toss it into the flames. Before you do it, take a fraction from each of these portions, tie it at the hem of your garment. Ezekiel said, why do you want me to do this, Lord? God said, because a third of my people are going to be killed by the sword. A second group of them are going to be scattered to the uttermost parts of the earth. A third group of them are going to be tossed into the flames to be burnt, burnt by fire, the fire of the enemy. Take a fraction, tie it at the hem to symbolize a remnant from each of these three groups. Then God said to Ezekiel, would you please bore a huge hole in one of the walls of your home? I don't know of any woman who would have wanted to be married to this man. Bore a big hole in, the, in one of the walls of your home. Ezekiel said, why? At an unearthly hour, you will be dragged out of your beds with a bag over your shoulders, some rations in that bag, because at an unexpected hour, you'll be dragged away into captivity with foods only meeting your bare minimum needs, and you will be given foods in foreign lands that you will despise. Finally, he was told to take a frying pan in front of his face, put it in front of his face, and walk around the city walls a few times. And somebody was going to say to him, what are you doing now, Ezekiel? And you are to say to them, the siege, as if by iron, is closing in on you. And that those iron bonds and those iron chains are going to leave you handcuffed. When I was first talking to my little girl, Sarah, who's eight years old, about Ezekiel, she had a question. She said, Daddy, was Ezekiel sleeping on his left side for 390 days all the time or only when he was supposed to sleep? Was he sleeping for 390 days, 24 hour spans, or only during his sleeping hours? And I gave her the brilliant answer of most theologians. I don't know. I said, but I'll tell you one thing, whether it was 390 into 24, or 390 into six hours, at the end of the 390 days when he stood up to walk, he felt the pain of his message within his bones. When he looked into the mirror, he sensed his message. When he walked around the city walls, he sensed his message. When he looked at the wall in his home, he sensed his message. When the man sat at the table to eat, he sensed his message. When he got up to walk, he sensed his message. God was in an enduring sense, putting that pressure within the soul of this man. And my dear fellow evangelist, we will never reach the lost of other beliefs until we begin to sense the pressure within their own souls and within our souls too.